In the heart of New Orleans lies the hidden gem of college athletics, Tulane University. The Green Wave just invested over $10 million to upgrade their athletic facilities, and with those renovations come state-of-the-art stadiums, training centers, gear, and one of the coolest locker rooms I have ever seen. So let's go see if you guys also agree that Tulane is the most underrated university in the nation. So we started the day by meeting Curtis Akey, Tulane's Director of Baseball Operations. He gave us a quick driving tour of the campus and educated us on the history of Tulane where we learned something pretty insane. So this right here, they're gonna bubble this for football. They're gonna put like a, a practice bubble on it. We were a founding member of the SEC at Tulane. And so wow, they had an, yeah, what yeah, we were in the 30s. Yeah, 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 a long, long time ago. But there was an 80,000 seat football stadium right here. It was called Tulane Stadium. The Saints, when they started, played right here until they built the Super Bowl. They also played three Super Bowls right here. here right Right here Wait, on campus. What? Yeah. I yeah. did not know that. Right there. That's insane. Isn't that crazy? So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys into that academic center while we're over here because it's it's pretty cool. Once we checked out their new student athlete academic center, it was time to check out the other athletic facilities. So we met up with a member of the baseball team to show us around. Yeah, my name is Marcus. I'm a grad transfer. I'm a shortstop here at Tulane. And uh, yeah, we'll take you along. Check out the green wave. Let's go. Uh, so this is the main entrance where all the spectators come through. Um, we do a lot of autograph signings here, concessions, you know, beverages, uh, things like that. So yeah, the dugout. Yeah, we just got these new benches in new fans a little you know compact we get a lot of guys in here so it gets pretty loud in there which yeah. is pretty fun actually. yeah for college baseball that's what you want yeah too. yeah you want and then with that too there's speakers on top so it sounds like you're just right in it so. that's dope i like the below field level too man right so you're like right there yeah how new is the turf and all that stuff uh, we put it in this winter so. that's crazy yeah. so it's brand new we got yep. them in a perfect time then. right oh yeah it's super nice cool scoreboard it's definitely one of its own yeah because it you know it comes up pretty tall yeah it does obviously the press box it looks like super big yeah. it's kind of giving me like an SEC feel where it's like, you know, they stack them up really high up yeah. the stadiums. I don't know, something about that. This is just like residential housing. Yeah, is that, this that's is funny. streets like multi-million dollars, like very nice. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, this is nice. Yeah, so this is where we do a lot of our hitting stuff, obviously. We got a self-feeder back there, so guys can just come in here by themselves and be able to hit. Yeah, tees, we got all the tools over there. And these open up, like if it's a nice yeah. thing, you go that yeah, we'll open cool. all these up. Hey. Wait, it does usually open up. Sure. <laughs> no, that uh, help. <laughs> oh, God. oh yeah, this is sick. Yeah. In the summer, like the first two weeks we got here, it was, I think it was 100 degrees, like Ooh. for like every day. So we'd have these open and have like fans coming in, just blowing because it was so, it was very. Yeah. Hot. So this is the new machine that um, helped by the donors. Our coach will put in like the spin rate, vertical, horizontal break of every pitch. She can plug in the actual metrics of the guy. Right. Yeah. I think honestly, like this is way harder to hit than real live arm. <laughs> right. So like we come in here before the games, hit off this, and then once we get up to the game, it'd be like, okay, like we know I've seen this coming. before. Yeah. Um, a lot of guys do like the water bag stuff like that before games, just yeah. get their core loose. Stuff. Sure. Like that. A lot of guys use these farm boards. What's that? Um, just kind of get your back leg out of the way. So oh. it's kind of like a oh, scissor. Cool. And now all these Corby low belts, yeah. everyone uses yeah, yeah. So before we get to the rest of the facilities, let me tell you guys the game plan for today. Next up, we're gonna check out the football stadium, weight room, and of course the baseball team's insane new locker room. And by the end of the day, I'll need your guys' help to see if I have what it takes to join the Tulane baseball team. You'll see exactly what I mean by that later on, but first, I found a friend on campus. Hey, it's Jonah, friend of the channel, Jonah Walker. OG of the channel right here. How do you like it out here? I love it. How does it compare to New Hampshire? It's warmer. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, can't say I had allergies back home in New Hampshire, but Just hating. it's not that bad here. Yeah. Kind of brings us out to like this half field that oh, the football right. field uses. And they do a lot of like special teams, you know, skill. This is gritty. I like yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> we do some sprint school stuff in here. Like mm. in the mornings, we'll do some running and stuff like that. So is that the like the weight room and all that stuff right there? Yeah, it's yeah. Wow, so you guys have everything, like every sport right here. Yeah, so we would do conditioning stuff here. I call it Separation Saturday. Mm -hmm. We did every five yards was a ladder. So we just five, Ooh. ten. 15, 20. The blue end zone's nice. That's so sick. Yeah, this turf is actually really nice too. It's kind of weird. It's it yeah, weird crushed look coconut at it. shells. Yeah, That's, crushed coconut. Yeah. yeah, so this is one of the entrances to Wilson. Like the football meeting room is up there. That, looks, that guy looks cool. Yeah. Our weight room coach has a mantra. It's built to last. So all the work you put in the fall, like it's built to last in the springtime like that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. A lot of spar racks. Yeah, we got like 20 racks in here. Brand new weights, brand new dumbbells over there. Yeah, 6 a.m. lifts, like they're always fun. Like they're, yeah. you know, expect to be tired, but I mean, we get, we get after it. You got all the guys there too. It's like, it makes yeah, it more fun. Yeah, do a lot of chain stuff. So okay, we'll put yeah. them on there. It's a lot of explosive. We also have these banded things that kind of hook into the right where you're standing. Yeah. What's the lifting like routine look like? Off season versus 
in season. Like how many times are you guys in here? In season right now, we're four days a week, so mm -hmm. we're still getting after it. And then off season, it was I think it was five with a speed day. Six a.m. Yeah. In the fall, it was like six, and some days we do like three o'clock. So okay, that's so, good. Yeah, but three a.m. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm lighter now. I'm under 180. It's that New Orleans food. <laughs> Come on, the weight room. This is running up here. Locker room and then a bunch of like the coaches' offices are up here. So right here, like here are all of our green wave in the pros. Um, see, it's pretty loaded. Yeah, um, major leaguers are in the middle. Who's the most notable player to come out of Tulane? I would say either those two, Jake Rogers or JP Friends. JP. Yeah. Hey, this guy homered off Paul Skeens. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> is, there, is there a clip of it? Yeah. That, we got to put that up. <laughs> That's insane. High in the air, out to right center. Cruz with a long run. He's tracking to the wall. This one is out of here. A two-run homer for Tulane. Good ball player. Yeah. Oh, um, here's some of the jerseys that we have. So yeah, that's nice. the green. These are the new Vapor ones. Vapor. Oh. The gray pins is new this year. Is my favorite. Yeah, those are nice. I love yeah, that with the little the patch right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like this one too. This is my infield model. Does the job. Yeah. It's a pretty good leather. Yeah. And then we got bang gloves this year. Rushi as well. Oh got the yeah. Little two lane. What's the craziest glove someone has? Uh, Tio is probably this one. It's the Miami Vice. Oh wow. Yeah. That is. Yeah. That definitely is. He's got to put some conditioner on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's Sweet. nice. This is the original Cadex and the new puck knob. Um, oh, yeah, make what's it the feel a lot lighter. Just like makes it feel like even lighter. Like, I don't know if you... It's like top heavy. Okay. Yeah. You guys want to play a disc golf hole? For yeah, right let's do it. That's a good idea. Whatever one you want to use. Oh, man, I'm going to screw this up. Just got to throw it. What's like, the target? What's the target? Let it rip. Oh, man. Oh. Wow, what a choice. <laughs> oh, wrong way. No, I sliced it. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. You went in the stands. I'll get that later. You're good. That's my bad. You're good. I think I lose. Hey. Hey. Good job, guys. After getting embarrassed in disc golf, it was time to check out Tulane's brand new locker room. And don't worry, the disc golf game wasn't my actual tryout for the team. So make sure to stay tuned and see what we got next after the locker room tour. This is like our corner over here. So here are all Americans. So you got a big oh. aerial of oh, our stadium. Wow. You see the city in the background? Right, yeah. We on that TV back there, we'll put our like our weekly and daily um, jobs in what practice will look like. Kind of like our team lounge. Yeah. Uh, last year, got the dog pile up here. Two fridges, you know, Curtis, our strength coach, do a really good job of just stocking it with, you know, food for us, so. What's that hat right there? That's our home run hat. Home run hat yeah, right so there. Tio Banks had a home run last weekend, and that was the first weekend it came out. But yeah, so here's my locker right here. Bro, this is brand new too, right? Yep, all brand new. Like, we got this this fall. Doors kind of slide in. Oh, what? That's, I've never seen that. But yeah, so we got like our shoe storage There's down a here for our dirty cleats and stuff like that. Hat. Nice blue sweatshirt, couple of practice shirts here, long sleeve. We learned that that his name is Riptide. Riptide, yeah. Love that. VP top. Ooh, with the like patch on it. Yeah. You know, it gets cold, believe it or not, but a little thermal. Ooh. So yeah, it does come in, it does get a little cold. Yeah. It just comes yeah. perfect. Wow, yeah. yeah with this is the blue, blue hat. Rim. This is my favorite. Yeah. I usually wear this with the blue or the green jerseys that, that we have. So sick. Oh, and then in here too, actually, we got outlets, whatever. Uh, like to do like write my at bats in that hitter's notebooks. Just yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. reflect on them. Sure. But, yeah. And then is there just more like how does it split up? Yeah. So then we just kind of split it up yeah. whatever way. Obviously, you got a picture here of walk off win we had. Oh. And then up on the ceiling we got the two lane logo. This is like the bigger part. Another TV here to watch ball games. Laundry, just you know after the games throw it in there, forget about it. Yeah. Be back tomorrow. I'm back oh. here. How many? Do you guys got so many hyper ices? Yeah, we got a little recovery area. Norma tag. These are cool too. Like where it has like, can you take that after? Like, yeah, that's so they cool. can, yeah, these are just like, I'm pretty sure just Slide Velcro it and they can come off and whatever, but, but yeah, we can actually turn these lights off and then it'll be like, they'll have like the green things on the bottom. That's crazy. I'll up. put a picture of the old locker room. I'm sure we can find one. Yeah. The new, this is, yeah. this is nuts. This is one of the most unique locker rooms I've seen too. Cause it's like split yeah. into three parts. And they also have like speaker system in here. So it's pretty loud. Oh, yeah. yeah.
After the locker room, the team let me try on every single one of their uniforms for a photo shoot. These are crazy, dude. And then Jonah's got the pin. Just like the good old days. Except we never played together. I know, we never played, played against each other. Believe it or not, Jonah was a little better than me. Every year, Tulane's baseball uniforms rank in the top 10 in the entire nation. So it was dope to finally see them in person and try them on myself. Let me know if you guys think I could pass as a Tulane baseball player. And if you think so, I might have to go back and try out for real. So anyway, we ended the tour by getting an insane look of the campus and city from the top of their baseball stadium. And of course, getting some gear to give away to you guys. If you guys want to win a Tulane shirt and a Tulane hat, give away, comment down your Instagram and subscribe to the channel below. Go show the boys some love on Instagram who gave us the tour and show Tulane some love because appreciate you guys so much for having us out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Let us know where we should go to next. Peace.